everybody. It's Wayne from One on One Animation, and someone had asked me about uh, how do you do acting with dialogue and the whole lip sync and all that. So I'm gonna create. I created this little video here, and we're gonna go through it step by step. So in the very beginning, what you want to do is you want to draw thumbnails, which means just these tiny little drawings like this right here you can see as I, let me get this down here you can see the thumbnails of what the character is doing during the dialogue and what he's saying is what we got here is failure to communicate some men you just can't reach now that was just me saying it i'm not an actor but you listen to the soundtrack, which we're going to bring up here very shortly. You're going to hear it. And I listened to it numerous times, meaning I listened to it until my thumbnails started to relate to the soundtrack. I hope that makes sense. So you want to really study the soundtrack. What? we got here is failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. Now, what that is, that is a soundtrack from a movie that was made in the 60s uh, with Paul Newman. It was called Cool Hand Luke. And the whole scenario of it is the warden just hit the the hero of the movie, Paul Newman, and Paul Newman had, uh, he, he had been convicted and was working on a chain gang. And the warden was, uh, he was, I can't remember the actor's name, but he was a great personality. And that, that's him delivering this line. So he, he hits Paul Newman, Paul Newman goes uh, off screen, and it's just, uh, it's focused on uh, this voice. Uh, this actor and he says it again so I'm gonna play it again where you listen to it and what I'm looking for as you listen to it over and over what you're listening for is the phrasing the phrasing is very important you think of it I'm not saying you think of it as music but you're gonna hear highs and lows in it but the main thing you're listening to are those the the, the high points of what you consider the acting, the, the emphasis on the acting, like what we got here is failure. That was a moment for me. It was failure to communicate. And I work my, this is why I do the thumbnails, so I can see them with the dialogue. So let's proceed. We're going to listen to the soundtrack two more times. What we've got here is Failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. One more time. Uh, what we've got here is failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. Now with that in mind, We've listened to it more than just three times. We've listened to it numerous times until we really, uh, it becomes uh, just secondary in your head. You, you hear it so much, it's sort of like you're living with that line. And so you just listen to it over and over. And then what I did, just follow my cursor, what I did was, he starts off here, he looks over at the other convicts after hitting uh, the cool hand Luke and he goes into an antic and he goes uh, uh, I noticed there's this he's a little nervous he got caught being very mean and then he does a slight head turn to the left and then he does a big anticipation he goes what we got here I should have put here is and it's all within this pose for the most part is what we got here is and it's all within that post. And then there's an emphasis on failure to communicate. 
So I hit the failure mark. I, I felt in my estimation, I felt like that was a, a big accent of the acting. And then he moves in forward to the, the other convicts and says to communicate. And I would come down this way and he has this little stammer where he stutters on the S. He goes, S some men right there, you just can't reach. And he comes back in this, you just can't reach. And then he goes over to this. So now that I've got my thumbnails all done, I feel pretty reassured of what I'm trying to uh, execute here and what I'm trying to say within my animation. So then we'll go forward from here. And what I'm going to show you, and I don't usually do this, but this is um, these are going to be thumbnails that were blown up. I usually just go from my thumbnails and I just start drawing them when I start animating, hitting those key poses, all the key poses. OK, now we're going to see the thumbnails that uh, they were they were blown up a little bit and listen. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Some men you just can't reach. So you can see in that I'm hitting the accents <laughs> and the phrasing. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. And with this, I'm able to see if the acting is working correctly. <laughs> if I'm hitting the accents what in the way that my imagination is sees it. Failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. So I'm hitting all those accents right there. And I'm hitting them in the way that, again, my imagination sees the performance of the characters delivering the line. So after listening to it numerous times, that is the importance of thumbnails. For me, it's if you got an acting scene, uh, thumbnails, you got to do thumbnails to me. Uh, very Most animators use thumbnails just so they can get acquainted with the scene and the thumbnails to understand they're your shorthand of of for yourself not for anybody else just for yourself because it's your job to animate it and make it uh, believable and come to life so the thumbnails it doesn't matter if you draw them i've seen thumbnails where some animators draw extremely clean and i've seen thumbnails where the animator was the only person who could understand what the thumbnails meant so it's whatever you're comfortable with. Understand that the thumbnails are strictly for you. So you can get an idea where you're going while you're animating because if you go into the, it's like going into a, a room with no lights. You're just, you're wandering around in the dark, but the thumbnails sheds a lot of light on what you're about to proceed at. So. Now what I did, um, now I'm going to show you the actual animation from those thumbnails. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. Okay, so there it is. There was the final product of it. And what, what it was, I, I stayed true to my thumbnails. I didn't, I didn't go off course from, because if I go off course, it's going to change uh, the rest of the scene. If I change some, you know, something dramatic, you know, if I had changed it when he says, uh, instead of uh, reach when he comes back in that way. If I changed it, left it forward, that would have that would have uh, uh, changed the rest of the other drawings that I had already figured out and timed out. So you want that's why the thinking in the very beginning is is crucial. Also, what I want you to understand is as far as dialogue goes, 
you got certain mouth shapes and I'll do another video on that but you got certain mouth shapes and you want to snap into those mouth shapes when he says what we got here is it's a what and it snaps into the what we and we e you snap into those mouth shapes you don't do what i call mushy mouth that means where everything is so in between that you're it becomes uh to it, it it doesn't show the snap of the 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 mouth shapes when we talk we talk really fast we go we go from a oo mouth to a, a mouth to a m or a p mouth and all those different shapes we go in and out of all those shapes very fast so if you have a oo you can hang on to the o sound for you know as long as this uh, dialogue on the on the track is you hang on to that sound and that shape and what you can do is you can start with a big o and then it gets smaller as the the sound of o starts to dissipate and that's true with everything else consonants you just you just uh, uh, snap right into them i hope that makes sense so now we'll look at this again what we've got here is failure to communicate. Some man you just can't reach. So that's pretty much it. And you can see what I did. I stayed true to those poses that I had created in my thumbnails. I turn the, the sound off where you can hear me more. But I stay true to those poses. And that's about it. So I hope this helps. And good luck to you all. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.